In this video, I'll be going over three different commands that will make it easy for creating walls of a building and also creating frames for windows and creating openings on solids. The three different commands are going to be isolate, shell, and seaplane surface. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and jump right into that. The important thing is to start with a polyline. So I'll start here in the default layer and create a polyline of a shape for the walls. And these are going to be the exterior walls. And actually before that, I'll go to units and I'll want to have this in feet uh, for myself because I'm used to working in feet and inches or inches. So let's go here to a polyline and I'll just create any random shape. So I'll just go here and And then at the end, instead of clicking here, I like to do C, enter, to close. Now I can create the height of the wall. So I'll do extrude, curve, and extrude up, making sure that it says solid. I'll do 10 feet. So we have this curve and now we have this solid. And there are different ways for creating walls. I could have offset this and extruded up, but another way of doing it is doing a shell command. When you do a shell command, it's going to ask you which faces you want to remove and give it a thickness. So I'll say thickness, it's going to be 5.5. And the faces to remove will be the top and the bottom. When you hit enter, it's going to do that in feet. So it did 5.5 feet. And let's turn this back and let's do shell again and do 5.5 inches. And when you do inches, even though the units are in feet, it will translate it into a decimal value that is 5.5 inches in feet. Now I can pick the top and the bottom, hit enter, and this will give you a very clean exterior wall for any shape. So that's why I like to share this trick because it makes it a lot easier. You can save an entire command. The other way would be to do a shape, offset, 5.5 inches, and then take this and do extrude, curve, 10 feet. So as you can see, similar results, but this one is a lot quicker. Now, the other reason why I like that is because, let's say we're trying to do a door, let's just say here. One of the things I can do is do a Boolean difference. So let's just go here, center, and let's just create it here at the center. Let's say it's four foot and then eight foot tall. What I'd like to do is actually create um, to get the space in between. So I'll copy this onto my clipboard and do Boolean difference, or you can just do BD and then hit do this one. And now I can paste it again, which is going to put the entire thing back and then do Boolean intersection with this one. This will give me the door and the outside form. The reason why I wanted to show this is because now I can type in shell. And if I want the door frame to be two inches, I can pick this face, the other face, and the bottom one. And this will give me a frame. So I like to use shell for different things. One of the other things we can use it for, let's try creating a polygon here. I'll extrude curve and I'll match it to this one. Now I'll do shell, but I'll pick the top, the bottom, and this wall. And as you can see, it will also take out this wall. Now, one of the things that I do sometimes is if you do shell of just the top, it will actually also create a floor. So that's a quick way you can just create a wall and floor system with one command. 
So let's erase this and I'll bring in another shape that will be actually difficult to do a shell for. This one, we can take a polyline offset and extrude it. That makes sense. But let's say we bring in a sphere. So go to sphere. I'll put it at the zero point and I'll create a shape just in the middle here. I'll create a box and I'll create it up here intersecting this sphere. Now I'll do Boolean difference. So I'll select this, do uh, VD, then select this one. This will give me the t basically subtract the top part of the sphere. Now I can do the shell command again and you'll see that it will create a perfect shell on the sphere which is actually a difficult thing to do unless you create uh, a smaller sphere on the inside and do a boolean difference. So with this we are able to save a lot of time. Now let's say that you do create a perforation here. I want to show you another cool trick that I didn't know about which is to take this and do a boolean difference. So BD. And now we can take this and bring it back to how it used to be by untrimming. And untrim will actually heal a surface back completely. So sometimes we do Boolean difference and we notice that, let's see if untrim will bring back the top. Let's do untrim to this top part. And it actually does create the flat part. And if you do it on the outside, so on trim, it'll heal it up. So next thing I wanted to share. So these are just some commands that came into mind that I wanted to share to um, people that are just getting into Rhino modeling. And the other one was isolate. That's another important command. And so isolate, it's important when we have multiple floors. So let's say I'll create this here and I'll put a few shapes. I'll extrude this down. So I'll do extrude curve and bring this down six inches. Now here, I'll create a few shapes. So I'll just go to a rectangle here, a rectangle here, and another rectangle here. I'll extrude these to have a specific wall height. So I'll do extrude curve and say 10 feet. And I'll actually copy another one here and just scale it up to make it more interesting. And let's say this is going to be one of the floors. Now let's create another floor. So I'll do copy, vertical, and I'll copy it from this bottom part, snapping to the corner, basically creating a floor right above it. Now I can take all of these and just rotate them 180 to give it a little bit of difference here at the top. And now at the top top, We'll do, we'll copy this again. This time it's a little bit easier because we can copy this floor keeping this gap. So I'll actually do copy vertical from this left corner to this left corner. And now here at the top, let's create a different shape. So I'll do move my construction plane to this surface. And now I can create some different shapes. And I'll do the same thing for these. So I'll do extrude, curve, and do 10 feet again. And I'll take this and do one more floor. So copy vertical from this corner to this corner. Now let's pretend that these are the interior walls. The reason why I like to use isolate is because it allows me to just focus on what I really need to focus on. 
And for now, we have these solids. So let's just take this first floor and select the objects and type in isolate. When you type in isolate, it'll actually just isolate these objects so you don't have anything else to worry about. And what I'll do is I'll select this one and this one, do Boolean union. Then you'll have this crease. To get rid of that crease, we'll do merge all faces. And to create the walls, we'll do shell. We'll do um, actually a foot. So we'll do the tops and the bottom. Now we can type in unisolate and take care, do the same thing for these. Isolate, Boolean union. The next one is merge all faces and that gets rid of the creases. And now we can type in shell and do the top and the bottom. Now let's type in unisolate and let's do the top portion. So I'll select these, isolate, Boolean union, merge all faces, and then shell. And I'll do unisolate again. And as you can see, there's still a few places where we would need to add like a floor, which would be here. But the important thing here is to be able to isolate the objects and then unisolate to bring them back. And now we can do some windows. So let's say I wanted to do a window here. I would move my construction plane. So I'll do C plane, S for surface, and I'll move my construction plane to the surface. This way, I can create a rectangle here and I can offset it approximately two feet. And I can take this and extrude it in. So we'll say extrude curve and we can extrude it that same amount, the same as the wall. Now we can do Boolean difference or BD. And now we have an opening if we hide this one. But what's good is if we already have this, well, I can type in isolate. I can also type in shell and remove the front and back. So we'll say three inch frames and we'll remove the front, the back. I'll hit enter. And now I can create a some glass on the inside. I'll go to this layer and create a plane. And we can go from this midpoint to this midpoint. And this could be the glass insert on that wall. So let's now go to unisolate. And notice how quickly with some um, some commands we can simplify all of our work by focusing on what we really need to and then bringing everything back to see what it looks like. What I'll do now is I'll put the construction plane back to where it's to its original point and to do that I'll type in C plane W for world T for top. Now I'll go to our layer one and create a clipping plane to see what this section looks like. I'll go to vertical and cut it through the middle. It is cutting through some lines and that's some of the stuff that you see here. So let's go ahead and select just the lines. One of the tricks that I like to use is make sure that you have your filter, your selection filter, and turn off surfaces, poly surfaces. This way you only select the curves. And then I'll bring that back so I don't forget. And now we can cut this section and it's going to look a lot better.
if you want to flip the direction you can rotate it or you can type in flip and it'll flip the direction that you're doing the section here of course um, to complete the ceiling here we would actually need to fill in the gap so I'll go to a box and I'll create a creating part of the roof here do the same thing down here same thing here and I try to make sure that it goes to the snaps so it gets everything correct for this one I'll actually need to create a line between the intersection and this other intersection and also get this edge so I'll do duplicate edge and copy this edge and get this one now I could type in isolate actually let's do that again select this one and this one type in isolate it's because I have to isolate it with the clipping plane otherwise let's see here now I can trim off the extra portions and join this together now that it says one closed curve I can type in an isolate and extrude this up so do extrude curve now if we look at this in rendered view it's gonna look a lot better of course glass we would need to change the material and the frame here would also be in a different layer with a different color And I'll scale this up in one dimension so it covers the ground of the floor above. Cool. So what I'll do now is I'll show you what this looks like rendered. The idea was mostly to share the different commands. Number one, shell. The other one is going to be isolate. And let's see what was the other one. C plane, moving it um, relative to the surface. So if you have any other questions, this was mostly a Rhino overall tutorial. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, if you have other ideas for future videos, uh, put them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.